It appears Sydney's water worries are over. Or are they? The controversial desalination plant is being fired up for summer. But critics say it's way too costly, ineffective and definitely not the answer. Julia Achilleos has this report. The $2 billion desalination plant, built to drought-proof Sydney, is now 80% complete. But with dam levels hovering around 50%, will we ever use it? What we're doing now is we're moving into the future of water supply. This is a water supply that does not depend upon rain. Since the government first announced its decision to build the plant in 2005, there has been considerable opposition. We can solve Sydney's water problem better by recycling uh, and by capturing stormwater that falls on Sydney. It's very environmentally damaging. It uses large amounts of electricity. There's also serious problems with the disposal of highly saline byproducts. And it's also very expensive. And it's Sydney Water customers who are going to have to pay the bill for it. Sydney ciders can expect a 30% increase in water rates by mid-2012 with the average household paying $804 a year from $615 in 2007. But that's not the only cost, as local residents sell up to avoid the vibrations, cracks in the walls and floors, and sand dumps a regular occurrence during construction. The plant is on track to deliver 500 million litres of drinking water a day to customers by this summer. The water will be delivered using an existing supply system with pipelines running from here in Kurnell to Erskineville via Botany Bay, Kaima, Tempe, St Peter's and Alexandria. Sydney Water now plans to operate the plant at maximum capacity for four years, twice as long as promised irrespective of water levels in the city's dams. Julia Achilleos, McLean News.